All right, everybody. Hello, welcome back. Episode three of Stone Block, and I've done some work off camera. Of uh, I've spread this barley around because the barley seems to be one of the the best items for us at this time. Because the potatoes don't give you too much, but the barley you can make into bread, and it grows pretty fast. And the bread is pretty universal in this pack as well. You can turn the bread into toast. You can turn the bread into uh, a different kind of toast that I'll give you uh, different haunches. So this is like one and a half haunches itself. One piece will give me two breads, which will be one and a half haunches as well. If I make two pieces of this, it's ten things that only give me a half a haunch, but that's a total of five. Um, but I also decided to make a watering can, which I found the easiest watering can that I could possibly make was this one from Extra Utilities. And if you uh, take a look at it, it just takes some stone and a mole and it was easy. I don't know if it's the best watering can in the game. I doubt it because I have to constantly fill it up. And I think there's ones you don't have to fill up, but they require you to get elsewhere to do that, like farther along. Um, so either way, I have done some changes to the mob farm down here as well. I'll show you guys real quick. It's actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. I uh, made it too wide and made this little path around here. So where I didn't think that enemies could see me, but they actually can if I go to like these corners. Or if I go to, like, this guy will be able to see me right there. But I've been able to, to manage with it. But I've also dug out the back as well. So I can go around and kill some mobs. And I've killed a lot of mobs. And I wish my phone would stop going off right now on the uh, on the table next to where I'm recording. Um, so it works okay. I just got to be careful that things don't see me and get me. But I've ended up with a lot of rotten flesh. Uh, right now, from the, the mob farm quest, actually, the only... That sounded weird. I'll have to see what that was in a minute. Where's the, what is that? I'm only missing uh, Ender Pearls. Um, what was that noise, though? Is that a witch? No, it's a zombie. Oh, it's a zombie villager. Okay. <laughs> I gotta watch out with these skeletons. Um, they will they they will shoot you if you put them in the right spot here. So there we go. Um, so that worked out well. Uh, unfortunately, not a single Enderman has spawned in this yet, and I can't quite figure out why not because I'm pretty confident that they just need a three tall place to to be able to go into. Sometimes I have to jump in here if I don't collect everything. Uh, a three tall place to go into, and this is definitely three tall, so I'm not 100% certain as to why I'm not getting any Endermen spawning in here yet, but we'll get that figured out at some point. Um, I need to start moving on and getting some sifting done in order to move on to the next part of the quest here. I saw some potatoes and barley. I got a lot of random stuff in my inventory. I... Uh, I have created a compressed hammer. I haven't used it yet, but I was going to start using either a heavy oak sieve. I might not even move to the heavy oak sieve, but the compressed hammer should be able to help me speed up my hammering process. And uh, so it won't take me as much to get these uh, these good cobble turned into gravel, into dirt, etc., etc., etc. Hopefully it won't be as bad to do. So let me put some of this stuff away right now. Um, and right now I do have enough ore that I've gone through with gravel in this setup to make iron meshes for all of these. And I'm trying to think if that's the way I want to go because I was trying to get to an auto clicker in order to be able to, I can spell again today, uh, an auto clicker. Which needs redstone is the thing that I would be missing on that. You know what? I do have two ender pearls from those endermen, don't I? I wonder if it's a retrieval task. If I can put that in my inventory and finish that that test. But if I get over here to the... I believe it's the dust. Once I get to an iron mesh with the dust, I can start getting my redstone. Uh, which then I also get other things like glowstone, etc., etc. The only problem is you don't get anything else good that you really need out of this. But I need that redstone if I want to something to auto-click for me. I also wonder how far it is that I want to go until I start getting into things like uh, chickens instead of anything else. But let me see if I can find that that ender pearl because 
Oh, and I only get one Ender Pearl. That's why I don't have it. I need to get two of them to finish that quest. Um, I did notice that there was a quest I did not claim from that water bucket. Oh, I haven't tested to see if you can do infinite water source in here yet either. Let's find out. Um, where is? Let's just see over in like this corner right here. I probably need a torch up here. If I were to grab this. Put it down. Grab this. Put it down. Can you do infinite water sources in this? You can absolutely do infinite water sources in this. Fantastic. Because now I don't have to deal with uh, anything crazy. Why? I, you know, I get a lot of spam phone calls. It is very, very annoying. Um, my phone just blows up all the time. So let's see what's in this loot chest. And then we are going to jump into, like I said before, what I was going to get into was the uh, Tinker's stuff. What is this? Alchemical bags. Alchemical bags and alchemical bags. Ultra rare reward. I don't know what these are. Should I open them? Oh, they're just inventory slots, I guess. I was going to put this in here as well. Let's put all that coal in there. Uh, interesting. Is there a reason for the color? Like if I put something in them? Yeah, I guess they're just uh, bags for inventory storage. So that's kind of cool. We will put these, where's my my loot chest <clears throat> bag? Oh, I put my loot checks, chest box is over here. No, it's this one up here. That one's for my loot bags. Oh, which I have a couple loot bags to open up from uh, the enemies I've been killing as well. So we'll put these in there. That's kind of just weird. Um, I've got this iron smelting. So, we'll take this iron, I will make some iron stiff into meshes with it, replace all these, and I should start smelting dust, huh? Do I want to, yeah, so let's, uh, compress, I did not mean to do that, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was terrible. Oh well. Well, we'll get these seven on the ground, at least. I must not have, hi, 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 hi. There must be a dark spot in this room somewhere. F7. There is not a dark spot in this room anywhere. What? Okay. There we go. So now I've got 63 dusts I can start sifting through once I get these items here made. So I got 37 irons. Let's take all these and let's do iron meshes. Uh, mesh. Maybe it's, so I think it's like iron stiffened mesh or something like that, right? Flint stiffened, iron stiffened mesh. So here we go. So I can make all nine of these guys. So now I can update all nine of of these. Oh, come on. Do these things not stack? Oh, then they stack. Okay. You just have to do it with an, with an empty hand. So it gets really annoying to do like that. So let's make sure I get my iron stiff, stiffened mesh. There's meshes in here and now I could go through this dust and hope I get some redstone which I already got some redstone which is fantastic um because <clears throat> I didn't need that much redstone to get this thing as an iron clicker right wasn't it five total redstone I think I needed uh I'm not sure can I put some of this stuff together I don't need this sandstone that was a, a mistake that I made I got a bunch of compressed cobblestone at the ready that I was getting ready to uh, to to pound down that I I did not yet. Let's see if we can get five. Because if I can get this thing automatically working for me, I will be like very 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 happy. Five. Oh my god! I got exactly the number I think that I needed. I made an achievement. I got a crystal. Uh, so let's put. Let me put some of this stuff away for the time being. Even the gravel, stone. Just get, clear up some of my inventory space here. Boom, boom. And let's relook at that mechanical user. I hope this works the way I think it's going to. I don't know if it needs power. So it was uh, the dropper required one redstone. And this thing required four redstone. The ender shard, because I do have the one. I need the cutter, which I... I can't make that yet, can I? 
No, because I need a couple more pieces of iron. That is unfortunate. So I can get that. I had this gravel sitting here. Let's see if we can get enough for the uh, one, two. So I need 12 more pieces of... of iron, I believe it was. Let's find out. Let's see what I got out of this doing it this way. And I got 22 iron ore pieces. Is that gonna be enough? Seven, beautiful. I mean, that that's funny. I can just, let me get this smelted up real quick. Smelt you, because then we can go make that. I can take this guy. And what was the, uh, that should be perfect right there. So mechanical user, let's take this, let's take this. I need the glass cutter, take this. I can make that boom. So I can go boom, boom. Got this guy done. And then mechanical user. So I can get one of these pieces and then I can get, do I need, is that smooth stone or broken cobblestone? No, that's like broken cobblestone. I just put it all the way. That should be enough right there. Make that and let's make that. Okay, so now we can make a mechanical user. Now let me just see if this works the way that I think it does. If I just put that there and then gave it, let's say, what do I have in here at the ready? Uh, even if I just gave it some sand, make sure it does it all with, I'm just gonna, where, where did my sand go? Did I not grab it? You know what, let's just put it to dust. There's a diamond on the ground. I had no idea that that was there. Okay, now I got dust. I'm gonna put the two dusts in here. We are gonna do it so it's, I can check always on. I don't want a generic click. Oh, place, but use item on block is probably what I wanted. No, I don't want to. I just want to break this and get it back. Uh, maybe it has to be down one. This isn't the place that it's going to sit because I would have to move this thing um, to somewhere where I can somehow get the items from it. And I'm not sure the best method to do that with the resources that I have currently at hand. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a vacuum op or anything yet. So is it like that? And then if I put both of you in there... Uh, Place block, use it. I think it's, is it activate? There we go. So that works exactly how I wanted it to. It's slow, but it's going to, I can go. So it's doing both at once, which is what I was worried about. Will it be able to do this? So now I need to figure out how I'm going to get these items because I can move this to a different room. Part of the reason I was making this room was to get my Tinker stuff set up in here as well as to get whatever, however I automate this. One of the easy ways I could do is I could literally just push this thing through, uh, I was gonna say I can push it through into a hopper. I still will need more iron then that I don't have. How much iron did I get from that? Four, five, that's actually enough to make a hopper. So I could use water, push it through with a hopper, or let me look at, what does a vacuum hopper require? A vacuum chest, oh, that's a decorative block. Vacuum chest right there. Is it a vacuum chest or a vacuum hopper? Vacuumulator? Hmm, vacuum hopper, there we go. It's a hopper, oh, an eye of ender. I can, oh my God, this is so easy to get. I just need to kill another enderman in order to be able to get this. And blaze, cause I have blaze, look, I have blaze in my, in my hand right now, I see it. My F7 is definitely working. Why are there no endermen in this thing? I do wonder why there are no endermen here. Well, for now, let me move these devices over to another room and let me just put a like water flowing over them. I will make a chest real quick or a, a hopper real quick because I can, then I can reuse the hopper at a later time. Um, who knew that this stuff would come so freely? Because I can do that. Some skystone dust, coal, whatever, that's good. I'm going to put this stuff over here just to get out of the way. I don't need this in my inventory for now. Crushed black quartz is probably also coming from 
from this stuff. I think the bone meal was coming from that stuff as well. And the Certus cord. So let's just sit it like that. I will grab, let's grab, make a handful more chests because I'm going to need them anyway. So we'll do that. Put one here. We can make a hopper. I can reuse that when I need to reuse that now that I have this. So if I make something like this, and then, see, if I go like that, yeah, it's going to spread out to, to three wide anyways. So I can just get some. Do I have more half slabs on me? I want to make this look somewhat pretty. Not going to be perfect, but it's going to be, it's going to be okay. Uh, can I just... Will this give me all my meshes back? Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank God. And then, if I were to do, like... Uh, so if I had it going into a wall, let's say up here... Put a, a hopper there... I probably need more than one hopper, huh? I could just do a line, put things in a line. I don't need to do, you know, multiple of them. Or I can just do another water block there. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is almost more of a proof of concept than anything else. But if I go like this, with a hopper that went into that chest, and then set up my Oh, I used the entire Invar hammer I had as well. So that is now gone. So put this here. Let's drop these guys on the ground. This, this won't be a permanent um, staple here. But it will last for a little while. And I guess that kind of sucks the way that I have to... Will that be enough, or will I have to... Is it not going to flow over that second block? Oh, no, it flows over. Why is it just head that direction, though? I figured it would head both both directions equally. Do I have to break this out first? That was bad. Why is it only flowing to the right? Can I just get rid of this? Oh, I need to get that mechanical user down first as well. Did I leave him over here, yes. Let's do a mechanical user there. Um, I don't know why you're only going... Oh, because the hole. So I need to start by covering that, and then you should act right, because you were going toward the nearest hole, and now there is no, now there is no nearest hole, there we go. Um, there we go, so that is cleanly going over all of this stuff, I just need to, I would need this to go here, this to go here, and another water channel going that direction. This should cause a wave I didn't want it to cause. There's no way to make this thing. Nope, that that's going to get stuck. Well, conceptually, it's, it's there. I just... It just ain't perfect. Hmm. Hmm. I could back the whole thing up, but whatever. It's, um, we'll see. We'll see. When I get some more items, it, it should be fine. Because I can, I can rearrange the water channels once I have more like iron. I can, I can build more 
um, hoppers and things like that. So make it flow in appropriately. Um, and then it won't be a problem anymore. So this is just kind of a temporary, temporary thing. So let's get me... At this point, I am working on... Probably gravel is still the... The best thing to go for, I would think. So there we go. Now I got lots of gravel. And we can just click on this. Change this to... Activate item with block always on, and let's just put these in there. And there we go. It is working. Because then when I get this thing done, I can move that chest over. Um, oh, I just jumped into it. I can move the chest over, and nothing went into the chest yet. Absolutely nothing went into the chest yet. Oh, God. Get out. Some of this stuff should be going in the hopper. One would, one would think. Absolutely none of it's going into the hopper yet. You know, once I can get some more hoppers, I can uh, move the chest over and just do a line of hoppers at the end, and then everything will be will be fine. I'm very surprised that not a single item is going into the chest, but I'll just come over here and clean it up every so often uh, while I'm working on this other stuff because I'm just doing this temporarily until I get enough, enough ore in order to make more hoppers and make this uh, a better pace. So let's jump back into the quest book then shall we and we should start going to tinkers the sensor table tool station part builder i don't remember how to make any of this stuff so at tinkers that's not gonna be the way to do it stencil so stencil table is any blank patterns and so i need a i need a bunch of blank patterns so let's get some wood We'll do that, and we'll go, okay, a stencil table. Oh, I never made the blank patterns. We'll just make a bunch of blank patterns. I got 28 of them. I should have more wood. Apparently, I am out of wood. So, I'm going to get this set up with a bonsai thing working at some point here soon in the near future. But, for the time being, we're going to just run down. Yeah. This stuff, twerk it out. While that's waiting, I can now make this stencil table, tool station, part builder. Tool station. Any, so crafting bench, which is easy. Let's stop, give me that this with one of these and then part builder pattern chest part chest part builder i don't have any logs because i literally just turned all my logs into Come on, twerk it up, baby. Twerk it up. Okay. That's really annoying. I need to make... There's a bonsai item that I can make. Let me go clean up this stuff while I'm waiting as well. Since this clearly is not working out, I, I thought it would. Let's actually just take this water off for the, for the time being. And put it in. Is that 64 iron? That is 16 more iron. That's going to be enough to get the uh, the things that I need. So let's get that stuff cooking up right now. And let's get this thing to torque its magic and actually grow. Thank you. And let's go with this now. Boom. Okay, so I got those three. And what was it? The uh, pattern chest and a part chest? Yeah, part chest. What am I missing? I can do that. And a pattern chest. And I should be able to do this as well. I don't have one of those. 
So that should be all of the items that I need to get that quest, right? There we go. Quest complete. So let's go put this stuff in the corner. Um, and I saw somebody set up a a nice little grid like this once. And it was a, turned out to be a quite good setup for, for this stuff. Though I think I have more stuff. I don't remember which one had to go in the middle, though. Pretty sure the stencil table can go in the back. Part builders in the middle, I think. Or is it the tool station that was in the middle? Might have been the tool station that was in the middle. And actually, I think I want this. Oh, I didn't make a... Because uh... this makes them all part of like a multi-block and everything's touching each other and it lets it work. Correctly, if I saw. Nope, did I do this wrong? Yeah, because nothing can actually touch itself. So maybe the tool station had to be in the middle. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe I just have no idea what I'm what I'm doing here. So part builder needs to be by the part chest. How, let's just i will just do this the way that I know that I'm going to be able to deal with it. Because obviously the part chest will be by the part builder. The stencil table will need to be by the pattern chest. I'm almost positive. Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'll, I will eventually figure this out. Um, so there we go. I want a crafting table as well. Oops. Back here. Let me go grab this stuff while it's hanging out over here, though. This thing is empty already. So, wow. It, uh, it tore through that stuff pretty fast. And the nice thing is I didn't have to do a damn thing. What I say I needed for that vacuum? That vacuum hopper was... Oh, another Eye of Ender is the, the main thing that I would not be able to make at this particular time. So, let's look to see if I can... Get oh I needed this. That's what I needed. It's like something is something is missing. So if I get two more I can't even get two more of those right now. Okay, there we go. I do want to get a like nice pick and a nice or not necessarily a nice, but a the starts of a pick and a uh, sword. From the, the Tinker's Table relatively quickly here. But we're going to start by doing this. Get these two items. There we go. I know some might see this as a waste, but I don't. So I'm going to get this. Actually, what I should do... This direction so it's more accessible in the room so then if I there we go so now I can put this here apparently knock it out of here because the way I came in um, then I can put my three hoppers there we go now they're facing each other now everything is going to be perfect with the water when I reset this thing up to to flow, I hope it doesn't. It's gonna flow over there. It doesn't really matter though. It flows over there. But there we go. So now everything will perfectly go into one of these hoppers, and everything should flow into that chest appropriately. So what I need to do is see if I can get some gravel. Let's compress some gravel. Or compress some cobble. Okay. Let's 
Something's really weird with the way this inventory uh, tweak setting is. I don't know what mod it is, but it's slightly different than than normal. So there we go. So and I'll take these. I'll take these as well. I'm gonna really fill up my inventory here, but put these guys on the ground in here. Grabbed a bunch of wood, apparently. This is why the compressed hammer will be very, or is very nice to work with as opposed to just uh, the normal hammer because you can do basically nine at a time with this thing. Um, and it's, oops. Or I can throw my hammer on the ground is what I can do. So now I've got all this. I don't even have enough room for it. So let's go over here start putting all of this gravel in here. Okay, I don't want to grab this stuff though. I want to see if it works this time when it goes down as opposed to it coming into my inventory. It should flow down appropriately. Except that it comes up on the edge. Why is none of this stuff going into this chest? Does water not flow items into hoppers anymore? Or is it because, is it getting caught at the top? Okay, so it's getting caught at the top. I guess I that's interesting. Um, and I guess it has an opportunity to land on the edges, which I find weird. If I do that, will it be, will it be okay? Or is it gonna go? Crazy here. This is temporary until I can get a vacuum hopper set up. But it eliminates a lot of like me just standing around and uh, clicking, which is fantastic. Um, I will have to figure this guy out since I obviously clearly don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but let's do a... Oh, I need to get a stencil table. I need to put these in here. So I want one of these. This goes in the pattern chest. Uh, what is this one? The large sword blade. Sword blade. I don't know if I want a large sword blade or just a sword blade. Let's just do that one. I know I need a binding pattern. Probably need a tough binding. What is this? A tough tool rod and a tool rod. And that should be enough to get me a basic... Oh yeah, now I can access everything. That was weird. I, I Did these buttons not exist or was I just not looking at them appropriately? Because now I see them all. And this is what I was looking for and couldn't understand what I was doing wrong. Um, so I just need the normal. So this is all the normal stuff. So let's build a part. And if I just put in... Oh, I can't build a lot of stone. I need to go get... Oh man, it's still... It's annoying. That I went over there. Uh, I guess in theory I can just go like that and cover that up. It's kind of weird that it is able to slip in that little slot though. Amazingly, I'm out of. I'm out of. Uh, of stone right now. Need to dig some stone out here just to be able to go start building a pick. I did not get to the smeltery at all, like I needed to, uh, like I planned on. But I do have a more automated way to start getting some items at this point, which is which is good. It's not perfect yet. Uh, the vacuum hopper will make it a lot easier, but how I have it is actually going to work quite well. But for the time being, I need to make part builder. So let's see. I want to build, yet I can't access... Binding that and a tool rod is what I need. If I did my tool rod out of wood, and do a tool rod out of wood, modifier one durability twenty five. I don't know. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Um, I will do a 
binding out of that and a a head out of this for now how many is it going to take material cost two so I can't use wait I can do it out of that stone though or does it just take 30 that was weird Stone, hmm. If I get you guys back in here. And then let's go to the part builder. Or excuse me, the uh, the tool station and actually build this thing now. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. It has attack four, mining speed four. You can get iron. I mean, I guess it's, it's better than nothing, right? Because I, I can actually re... It can gain stats as well as as well as it's just you know better all around. So I I mean I guess that's fine. I I don't really know. But if I get, do I need a binding for that sword? Did I determine? No, I need that. I need to make uh, the guard. There we go. Let's make a guard. So I want the guard and. The sword blade pattern and the standard tool rod again, right? Sword blade, standard tool rod. So I can make it out of these three items now. Do another one of those out of out of that. So we make that out of stone and this out of stone. I don't know what else I'd make it out of, so. Let's go. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. I like it. He's clumsy. But this should help me. And hopefully I can go find an Enderman right now. So let me go pitch. Pitch these guys. Get out of here, Stone Pickaxe. Get out of here, other Stone Pickaxe. Get out of here, Stone Sword. And I'll use my Tinker's Built items because then they can be, like, repaired. Which will make it nice. What is down here? I want to see how bad this thing really is for, for attacking. And then we'll call this episode good here. Um, oh, we'll check the uh, loot bags. And the... I mean, this guy's... Ooh, he hit me because... See, I got, I got too close and he hit me. I mean, he's got a lot of armor on, so this is like an unfair challenge right now. So there we go. Got that. But let's claim our rewards and then call this good. So I got that reward. I got the oh, iron mesh. I didn't realize that that was one I was I had jumped ahead in the uh, in the quest book there. I haven't done anything else yet, right? No, and that's the only ones that I have been able to complete right now. I can easily get the lava generation, um, things like that. We can actually get them going, but I didn't yet. Yeah, awaken draconian block. That is nice. I actually have a good use, I think, for the awaken draconian block uh, pretty quickly. Compact to giant chance cubes. I'm not sure that those are a good idea to use in my base. We might use them when we go to a different dimension somewhere and have more ability to do so. But for the time being, guys... Let's open these up. Iron chest plate. I'll take it. Um, common loot bag. Let's see what we get in this one. Leather. Okay, why not? And this is the uncommon loot bag. Let's see what's in here. Bucket of water. Hmm. Well, I already got one of those, but that's fine. It is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode of Stone Block.